Hello everyone, it's Ethan from the Orlando Tours. Today is uh, Saturday, May 27th. Today we're at SeaWorld Orlando. We're uh, coming in from the extended lot. It's a really busy day. It's Memorial Day weekend and parks are packed. Today is not only the grand opening of Pipeline the Surf Coaster, but also we have the Summer Spectacular Summer Celebration event starting tonight. Um, we've already ridden the Surf Coaster 50 times. Um, through past member previews. It's an amazing ride. They had the grand ceremony opening ceremony at 9 a.m. This morning I just got off of work. So we're here now. It's about 5 o'clock We have a show to catch and then we got the dance floor is gonna be open tonight with some amazing entertainment like last year's electric ocean It's a very similar event, but they changed the name up this year. They're changing the fireworks show And yeah, we're probably we're bringing the camera in now. We might ride the surf coaster later if we don't get to ride it today, at least we can get some good footage on the camera since I've only been bringing my GoPro and phone in the park so I haven't actually got good footage on the camera of the surf coaster yet. So we can do that and then um, if you want to see my other pipeline footage, we have other videos and other stuff on my social media pages. But let's head in. We're on the way in the park. There's a lot of people heading out of the park today. Doesn't seem like we have a lot of, uh, doesn't look like we have stormy weather today, but we're still going to head in and uh, get some good footage and sh show the, the uh, new summer event tonight. We have this cool mural outside by the parking lot here. This is the maintenance barn for the pipeline, the surf coaster. We had a lot of entertainment this morning. Hopefully there's still going to be some characters out and about in front of pipeline today. As we head into the park, pass holders are able to um, check in a bunch of times. And every time you check into the park, you get uh, tickets and you can claim it um, at the end of June for reward. You can get up to a free dinner for two at the Sharks Underwater Grill. This is our third check-in so far. So we got our um, ticket, our uh, daily visit ticket. That's pipeline going by. But um, if you visit, like I said, 30 times, you get a free dinner for two. Right here, if you visit two, you can get a free uh, popcorn bucket thing or drink refill. You get a free all-day dining. There's a lot of different rewards for the different amount of times you actually check into the park. So it's really cool that they're doing this. And yeah, we're, we're getting our check-ins done. We now scan into the park. As you can see, we have signage up showing about the grand opening ceremony this morning. Pretty neat that the surf coaster is officially open. Pass letter previews are really good though. Last time we were here, they got these new um, coverings installed. They had these uh, decorations installed last time as well. We're now heading around the courtyard area. We've already used most of our pass order benefits for this month of May. And June's about to start uh, later next week, so we'll get a bunch of new pass order benefits next week. Before we venture over by Pipeline, we're heading this way to see if the new Coral Reef exhibit is open. They had pass order previews for it um, early May. But we didn't get to see it during that time. So we're going to see if it's open now and see if we can see the new coral reef creatures. The rescue center over here is where you can find the coral reef exhibit. It's in the old place, the turtle trek. We did go inside the building last time. You can see the manatees here too. We're just going to see if the coral reef is open. We can visit it today. These signs over here look somewhat new, probably redone as they uh, reopen the coral reef exhibit. You can see manatee underwater viewing down here and you can see turtles and stuff. It's pretty neat. So we'll see if it's open today, but as you go into the exhibit, I'll show you where it is even if it isn't open. Right over here, we have a room. And this room is where the Coral Rescue Center is. It doesn't look like it's open today, but it looks pretty neat in there from what I've seen from pictures about it. Even though it's closed today, we still have the uh, underwater viewing here. It's pretty busy in here today. Yeah, let's head over by Pipeline now and see what's going on. Like I said, now we're heading back this way and we're gonna go check on like the Pipeline area, see if there's any more entertainment out in the courtyard. Manta over here is a 40 minute wait. So it's pretty busy today. It's a packed Saturday. Probably not gonna do any rides today because I have my camera equipment on me and because it's busy. Might get a ride on Pipeline later, we'll see. As you can see, pathways are very busy over here today. This pathway is still closed. It's not going to open for um, Pipeline yet. But we have a new sign directing you how to get to Pipeline, so it's really neat. So I just heard that a lot of the stoke performers over here um, already are done performing. They got off at like 5 o'clock, which was um, while we were parking. So they're already gone right now, but we're still going to head over in the Pipeline area. Make sure you look at bridge times when you're here, because of the fireworks, the bridges will close early. That's something to keep in mind because that's where they launch fireworks from. They don't want any guests to get hurt. After the show, they typically have guests exit around the entire park. 
instead of taking the bridge because the fireworks. That's going to be the stadium for tonight's um, summer celebration. Same place where Electric Ocean was. They've made a lot of changes to the show from what I've heard. And over here, we the pipeline pathway, all decorated with the entrance area, flags and stuff. Looks beautiful. And of course, we have an alcohol stand over here as well. Really good for if you want to cool off in the summer heat. They have a lot of signs regarding uh, info about coral reef and surfing. This is all brand new as we did not have this up uh, the last few weeks we were here. This is really cool that they have all these uh, facts. I like that. Lots of info to read on while you're waiting in line. And the line looks like it goes outside the attraction to ride pipelines. Guests are waiting everywhere. Yeah, the line goes outside the attraction. So we're probably not even going to ride it right now. It's at a 75 minute wait right now. We have a DJ too and some performers cooling guests off. It's very busy in this area. It looks like the line wrapped all the way down here earlier today. But yeah, this whole pathway connects. We have a new little pipeline photo op over here that's really cool. I like that. And yeah, we had performers out here earlier, but not at the moment. Got it. High Surf Advisory, they got uh, wait time signs posted. So you know how long you're waiting from this point in the queue if you are lined up this far down. We get this whole area over here. This whole area is blocked off. And then this spot connects to the where we're gonna be tonight for the shows, the stadium. We have pipeline going by right now. The airtime on this poster is insane. This thing is so fun. Oh yeah. I didn't even see all this the other day we were here, but we got even more theming in the land over here. I love to see it. It's really cool. This is brand new and it looks awesome. We didn't have a rope down this path earlier in the week, but now we do. Just, I think it's temporary because we have a photo up there. Try not to get copyrighted. Over here we have uh, brand new Path Order Opening Day shirts. Lots of sizes still out. The back of it's really neat and these are $32.99. And we also have the Path Order shirt which is finally restocked which also looks really neat. Nothing on the back. And these say Pass Member on the sleeve. These cost also the same price. These pipeline mugs are sort of new as well. They look really neat. Over there, yes, there are trims on the coaster. You barely even feel them while on the ride. And this theming over here is also brand new as of a couple weeks ago, next to the water feature. Over here, we have the new Coke Pipeline Cups as well. I tried it, but they have a new Fanta flavor here, and you got the icebreaker one. It's actually really good. So now we're gonna head around the park and head over to the new uh, stage show that they have. We're probably gonna catch the 6:30 show a little earlier than I expected. We're gonna make sure we see the show because um, I wanna make sure I have enough time in between the show and Club C Glow, which is the uh, dance floor over there. Mako has also reopened as of uh, like last week. It has a brand new paint scheme to it. Same colors, but they just redid the paint and it looks very fresh now. So uh, make sure you get a ride. We've posted our front row POVs and stuff on that. It's really good. It looks like just like last year, we have um, a sign here. We had an electric ocean one. Now we have one that probably says summer celebration. This is another dance for the last year and I'm assuming we're gonna have performers over here as well. It says Ignite, as you can see, the firework. But it's not Ignite 360. They changed up the show a little bit, basically how they had it before COVID. 
and I've never seen it before COVID, so I'm excited to see how it is today. I know they did the thing in the summer where you can uh, do an exclusive thing in the Sky Tower, and you're able to see the fireworks at night with the special reception. It was a separately ticketed thing. Before we head over to the Nautilus Theater, since we have 30 minutes before the show, I'll show you a sneak peek at some of the new 2024 roller coaster construction going on over here by the stadium. As you can see, we have construction walls, and there's a lot of construction going on in the Arctic area. One of the whole, um, the penguin area dead ends right now because of all the construction. That's what it looks like right now. Tons of land clearing in the area as they get ready for this new coaster project. Should be a B&M prototype, just like Pipeline. So I was getting uh, photos of the new coral reef signs by the uh, Pipeline area. Totally forgot to get photos of them. Um, but I was talking to an employee while we were over there and they explained a few things about um, this new summer event. So one, we have emp uh, entertainment in the whole pipeline courtyard. Every day of the week, we're gonna have people hanging out. And then we're also gonna have on the weekends or days where we have the summer spectacular, we're gonna have those spray people with the, the, the water mist. And then we're also gonna have uh, other cool entertainment in the pipeline courtyard during the summer. So it's gonna be really fun. In addition to that, this spot here, with the sign, we will not have any performers this year. We had some last year, but not gonna have any entertainment in this courtyard this year. And like I said, um, I thought the show was at 6.30 for the Nautilus Theater. It turns out it's actually at seven. So we're gonna head over there right now. Recently, we had the Viva La Musica Festival over here. They had a whole concert stage set up. That ended last week. And we did see some of the, the setup and the special food stands they had up for the event. It was pretty neat. Now over here, we're heading over to Mako, and we're going to go see that new show by Mako. And we have that bright purple track. It looks great. I love the repainted job they did. I forgot how busy it is here on the weekends, especially the holiday weekend. So packed. Mako says 45 minutes, so that's crazy. But as you can see, we have a uh, new signage up for the new show, Surf Holiday, a sensational musical experience. And I heard it's only about a 15 long minute long show. You see we have show times. We're about to hop in and see it. Gonna get a nice spot. And we had some alcoholic beverages, uh, coaster cocktails during the Seven Seas Food Festival. Definitely check it out. We were there on opening night and a lot during the event. And it looks like we have special summer spectacular food tents where you can get some of those coaster alcoholic beverages. Pause the screen to look at prices. That's your focuses. There you go. And we're gonna look at prices over here. Definitely pause the screen to take a look. This show over here is actually dedicated to Pipeline the Surf Coaster. It's like a tribute to the brand new ride. And I heard it's really fun. We're gonna head in and go grab seats for this show. We even have theming all dedicated to Pipeline. You can see it. So many stats. Thank you. Ooh. Sounds good? Okay, perfect. 
Dreamboat Hero Pipeline up here? Is that the Mr. Dreamboat you're speaking about? Yes! Dreamy. Now wake up from that dream or this will become a nightmare if I don't secure each of those beach balls! Winston! I didn't quite hear everyone. Is that understood? Yeah! yeah. Seymour and Clyde. I'm Dolly. I'm Cindy. Arthur and Opie. Vincent with Batman Kai. I'm Dreambo. Dylan Dreambo. Welcome to Pipeline Pier! Surfing tours, and I came to invite you to tonight's rock and reef party. I know who you are, Dylan. We went to school together. Drop the whole 60s surfer dude act. <laughs> Remember in 10th grade biology, you dropped your pencil and I picked it up for you and you winked at me, but you never said anything else to me? Uh oh. I remember like it was yesterday, do you? Chop. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yes, I remember. You were in that Keep the Sea Plastic Free shirt. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Which is precisely why you have to stop those rock and reef cruises. Do you know how far you need to anchor from the reef? Do you know what type of buoy you should be using? Do you know the proper sunscreen to wear before entering the water? Do you know how many years it takes to grow coral? Thousands of years. Do you know anything about proper reef etiquette? Your lack of concern is unbelievable. Whoa, 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 coral. I came here as a friend, not as an enemy. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Look, I'm sorry if I came on a little too strong. I'm just really passionate about saving our coral reefs for generations to come. They clean and save our water. They're like the rainforest of the ocean. I guess I didn't realize. And that is why we're here. Here at the Coral Rescue Center, we are currently caring for thousands of colonies of coral. Now, many people don't realize that we rely upon the reefs for food, income, and protection. The reefs are very fragile, and many people don't realize that they are living organisms and vulnerable to diseases and changes in our world, just like us. But these are so small. Yes, it starts small, like how one drop of water becomes, becomes a river. Uh, my grandfather always said that. But now I have to convince him to stop those rock and reef cruises. Wish me luck! No? Okay, well, take care of the rescue. I'll see you later. No <laughs> Mr. Dreamboat! Oh, Mr. Dreamboat! The celebration is about to begin in a few hours, and there's still so much to do! Mr. Dreamboat? Sir? Sir? I can be such a bird brain sometimes. 
<laughs> I hope that wasn't offensive. <laughs> Um, wow! What an interesting place you have here! A coral Rescue Center! Ah! Ah! Coral Rescue Center! Oh, that one is so cute! And doesn't that one look just so dapper? Woo! Look! That one's waving at me! <laughs> Hi! Say, so, I'm looking for someone about this tall, dreamiest dreamboat. Talks like a surfer dude. <laughs> And goes by the name of Dylan, because, well, that's his name. <laughs> Have you seen him? Oh, no, please, I need your help! I thought y'all were called two cans, not two cans! Oh. <laughs> out this way tonight. Gonna be off the point break. <laughs> but seriously, where is she? Well, Dreamboat, looks like the tide is high and you're all alone. Whoa! Ah, there you are. You had me all like, we're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> it's from that famous shark movie. You've seen it, right? Oh no, I don't like movies that villainize sea life for defending their natural habitats from intruders within their ecosystem. Oh, righteous. <laughs> Dylan, what do we say about the whole surfer dude shtick? Totally not necessary. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I guess it's just become second nature to me. I just wish there was something else out there for me, something greater that I could be a part Whoa, of, and I feel like- Dreamo, take it down a note or two. Take a deep breath. And remember what your grandfather used to always say. One drop of water becomes a river. Joining the ocean between sea and the shore. Winding its way there, returning one day where it was before. Something happens. 
today, Winston. My eyes have been opened, and it's time for some changes. I mean, big changes, exciting changes, life-changing changes. No. But we need to build our business responsibly while we protect and preserve. The future of the coral reefs is essential for the survival of our environment. And I know just the person to help. I talk to you about. Oh, I know. I heard everything, and can I just say that sounds dreamy? Yes. <laughs> Winston. Sir, we can't do this without you. You've been by my side since the beginning, and you know this business better than anyone else. And I'm gonna need that wisdom and guidance going into the future. Well, as a wise man once said, change starts with just one drop of water. He was never afraid to make waves because he always knew there was something far greater to be achieved together. Continuing, but responsibly, by partnering with the Coral Reef Rescue, whose work is committed to the rescue, rehabilitation, and conservation of marine life to ensure we can enjoy these wonders for years to come. Because at the end of the day, we're better together as we are. Out the show it's about 22 minutes long or 25 if you count the pre-show with the, the beach balls and the sign that was a really fun show it was really corny at times especially in the beginning of the show um, when the guy was trying to fix the sign in the beach ball the acting was good the acrobatics were good it was cool when they were like in the air on the strings like like swimming and stuff that was fun they had a lot of cool corny puns and jokes in the show of course and um, it basically focused on the main theme of protecting the coral reefs and that they're about to build like a, a pier and expand their boat business but then they didn't because they wanted to protect the sea and all the uh, sea creatures so I thought it was really fun it was really neat um, had a really good motive behind the show it was fun for the whole family you know everyone was laughing at the jokes like all the characters um, I didn't really understand the bird in the show it didn't have like any role 
It didn't like make any sounds or anything, but still fun. We have about 30 minutes until Club Seaglow, so we're heading that way right now to the uh, stadium where all the dancers and stuff are. And that starts at 8 o'clock, and that goes until 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock is the fireworks show tonight, so we're heading around right now. And we just passed the uh, Passholder Lounge, which is where you could redeem a lot of your uh, benefits, like from your daily check-ins. That's where you get your popcorn refill and all your other stuff. It's usually open from like 12 to 4. And we have a new like food stand over here as well. Here's the menu, you can pause the screen to read it. We have the dance floor area and the fireworks. We're heading over in the path right now. <laughs> heading down over to the stadium. We have about 25, almost 30 minutes before the, the show start. And we have pipeline right over there. And because of the fireworks, during the fireworks, they will shut down pipeline. So the smoke and stuff doesn't affect riders while in the attraction. So we have good seats for the opening performance. This is the same area as Electric Ocean last year, but they have um, new entertainment this year. And of course we have Pipeline going right next to us. Oh yeah.
love and joy. Hey, one more time, give him a round of applause out there. Clap it up for him. Making it look so good. Slide to the right. Crisscross. The lights are all on now. We're on pumping in. Put the head over here. can hang out around the area. Last year we got good construction footage of Pipeline, but Pipeline you can watch on the edge of the dance floor here. My video is definitely getting copyrighted, but this, this looks amazing. All the dancing, so many people in the crowd here. Definitely good crowd involvement, especially on this busy holiday weekend. But yeah, it's a really fun time.
So the fireworks just finished, such a great show. Um, it starts off with the water and then they add the fireworks later on in the show. The Electric Ocean is amazing. I know we got a lot of footage, probably copyrighted the, the, the video, but such a great event. So many good dancers, so many um, cool like, acts that they have. It's a great event and I love it. Literally the best fireworks show in Orlando and um, had a great time tonight. You're heading out, it's uh, crowded, but they have the, uh, the path open by pipeline. It needs to be closed for construction, so now we can exit the park this way and get to our car quicker. So I like that, it's really nice. It's really nice that on the way out of the park, we get to go down the pipeline path that used to be closed. I really like this, it makes leaving the park much easier. Even though the park is closed, there's people still on the ride because they were in line before it closed. So Even though the bridge is closed, at least you could head down the icebreaker shortcut. Not icebreaker, pipeline shortcut, and you can get to the car quicker. Everyone's rushing to head out of the park, but luckily we're on the way out. And yeah, happy grand opening to Pipeline today. Um, we've already gotten 50 rides on it. We're probably going to get 50 more in the near future. Obviously, we didn't ride it today because of the uh, high crowds. And we're trying to cover all the other new event stuff today. But um, still got some good footage of it going around. And uh, such a great ride. You guys have to come and experience Pipeline. Cheering going on in the station. Yeah, such a great ride. They even added new theming, so that's amazing. I love how they even got that new show, which is kind of dedicated to Pipeline. It's really cool. And it's got some great educational stuff and how to save the coral reefs. Really fun. Um, that, that show is really creative. So that bird, the puppet bird in the show, is supposed to actually be a real bird. So I think they're going to actually add that in later from what I've heard. So really neat. And um, of course, Electric Ocean, really fun as always. You got music, you got the DJ going, um, you got entertainment, and of course we have that amazing fireworks show that you guys have to see. I do tend to post my videos pretty late on my channel, so if you want the most accurate and up-to-date information with theme parks and SeaWorld content, make sure you're also following me on my other social media pages. That's going to be like on Twitter, at Ethan Hershaft on Instagram at Ethan Hershaft and at Florida Theme Park Picks and on TikTok at Ethan Hershaft. I post on my stories and I post on Twitter and everything when I'm at the parks so you get the most up-to-date information really quick and I'm also catching up on Instagram posts because I'm behind so you should see some cool haunt season stuff and some other cool stuff from my past visits so yeah it's, it's great. SeaWorld's doing a lot of cool stuff as you saw we also saw some uh, 2024 coaster construction too so they got a lot going on pretty soon, really fast. So make sure you're staying tuned so you uh, catch all the updates here. And like I said, we are heading out now. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next one.